Okay, guys, I have to make this quick. They've only allowed me five minutes with Tori Wilson. Share price, Chris Jericho signed AEW figure. Cool, cool, cool. It's a little bit LTP, whatever. Who cares? I'm here with Tori Wilson. This is fantastic. I've got some questions for you. Very, very simple. Uh, is Charlie the lake monster what makes Payo Lake such a special place? Oh, yeah, yes. How do you know about that? Because you're a you WWE Hall of Famer. Uh, <laughs> what makes an Idaho potato the best potato in the world? Oh, the soil in Idaho is just magnificent. Nothing beats it. Anything that grows there is good, but the potatoes... Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu at my father's place restaurant? Oh, the Hawaiian burger. Ooh, ooh okay. Any fond memories of Sud's Tavern? <laughs> yeah, my brother's there all the time. His friend owns it, and um, I've... I've drank way too many beers there oh what's your go-to beer mm, i like a good pale ale okay okay like the the indian pale ale yes. or just like okay yes. okay uh why do you only use lyft and not uber i recently went back to uber but uber charged me 250 dollars for throwing up in the back of their car it was a total scam and they ended up getting it when i used it for uber eats so <laughs> That's messed up. I know. That should not be like... Uh, it was a scam. At worst, like it should be maybe like a $50 cleaning fee. I know. It doesn't take that long to, to clean but that out. But didn't grow up either. Wait, so they just claimed that yes, you threw up in the car? Yes, it was a scam that was going on. Yeah. That's weird. That is weird, Uber. How dare yes, you? Yes, Uber. How dare you? Uh, how'd you get over your fear of heights? I'm not over it. Oh, you're not? So whenever you get on a plane, you're just no, like, No, 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 right. not like that. Like, walk, like looking over the top edge of a building, you know, my stomach turns, or like tight roping. <laughs> Wait, how often are you on a tight rope? I was once for a reality show. Oh, snap. Speaking of reality shows, who's more fun to be around, Lou Diamond Phillips or John Spider Sally? Uh, John Sally. <laughs> oh. I love me some John Sally. Uh... What's the best George Strait song you can sing? And can you give us just a tiny little sample? Oh, man, they're all so good. <sighs> Take the, 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 what's that word? Uh, mark my words. Is that it? Is that uh, George Strait? Maybe. Maybe. Fuck, I can't think of, I can't <laughs> No, think you can say words. fuck, it's okay. Here's a little note. He, somebody out there knows the song I'm talking about, but... I'm, I, I'm not good on the on a wing like this. Put it in the comments section if you know what song she is attempting to sing right now. Uh, if you don't mind, could you please finish this next part of the song for me? Uh, how to chase my blues away. I've done all right up to now. It's the light of the day that somebody shows me how. And when the night falls, the loneliness calls. Oh, Yes, write this down, yes. Oh. And when the night falls, the loneliness calls, oh. I, I miss you. Close. It was, I want to dance with somebody. Oh, man. I want to feel the heat. Uh, this question is from Chelsea. What golden girl do you most identify with? Only the right answer. Don't mess it up. Uh, Betty White. Okay, good oh. answer. Good answer. Good, oh. good answer. Uh, who is Amy Fadalay and why is she so important to your life? Oh, she was a badass fitness model back in the day. I put posters of her on my wall, followed her workouts, followed her diet. I wanted to be like her. She's still a badass, but she inspired me in so many ways. I just got the chills. She's so cool. See, that's amazing. Amy Fadalay, if you're out there, Tori Wilson gets the chills when she <laughs> thinks about you. Something I wish that she would say about me. That's what, that's I, just I me. I got the chills over there before we Yes. Started. All right. Uh, who are the Bobsy twins? That's myself and Stacey Keebler. Oh, and They called us that walking into WWE because we were the two blondes that were like, eh, eh, hi guys. Speaking of Stacey Keebler, what's more fun, living with Stacey Keebler or going out with Victoria, a.k.a. Lisa Marie Verone? Hmm. <laughs> I love Lisa. She's a little, she's a little too crazy. So I'm going to say living with Stacy. Uh, what is it like being trapped in an elevator? Oh, shit. That was wild. 
uh, I had good company at the time, or at the time I thought it was good company, and, uh, you know, we laughed about it, but a little stressful. Oh, man, that's, that's no bueno. Absolutely no bueno. In Mexico. No bueno, obviously. There we go. Uh, let me see. What's your favorite golf course, and what is your best score? I haven't gotten to 18 holes yet. Uh, I'm going to say Lake Nona Country Club, just because I play there a lot. And, uh, yeah. I'll get back to you on that. Well, you'll get back to me on the best score. We got to bring her back in, Michael, after she's completed all <laughs> 18 holes. Uh, who's Chuck Zito and what makes him so cool? Chuck Zito is an actor, and I met him. Actually, the first pay-per-view I ever did for WCW, I uh, he was there for whatever reason. Um, Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash invited me to come downstairs and have a drink with them in the lobby. And Kevin Zito was, uh, Zito was there and, uh, Chuck and he was trying, he was giving me a massage and I was so uncomfortable, but it also felt so good. So he, <laughs> he was like going like this neck in the booth next to me. And, um, I didn't want to tell him, you know, I was very shy. I didn't want to tell him like, okay, it's a little weird. I just let him give me a massage. Anyway, he's a great guy. I follow him on Instagram and... That's about that. Who are the inseparable four, and what makes y'all so inseparable? Inseparable four? I don't know who you're referring to. Okay, then I'll move on to the next question. What's something great about Sydney, Australia, that you wish was here in the United States of America? Oh, that park by the Opera House. I don't know what the park's called, but it's the best place to run, and it's just... Every corner is the best flowers you've ever seen, and it's just like God created that place. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. My time with you is almost up, so I came and brought you a gift. I heard that you were a big fan of fries. We couldn't get French fries on such a short notice, but I did bring you two different bags of random fries. These are sweet potato ranch fries right here for you. Hell yeah! And of course, since we are kind of in the projects, for those of y'all that don't know where High Spots is located, kind of is in the hood, some Chester the Cheeto hot fries as oh well. Oh my God, amazing! And then, since you were always so inspirational about everything in life, I got you this book to read on your plane. Oh. It's called Breathe Mental Health, A Positive Path, and it's all about just feeling good and living your best life. I love you. Oh, thank, thank you. you thank so you. Much. Uh if you have anything you want to plug, go ahead and plug it into that camera right there. Let the fans know uh, where they can follow you and all that. The stuff. only thing I want to plug is uh, come see me on Instagram. I try to bring positivity into your day. Sometimes I go a little too deep. I try to be sexy sometimes. Uh, but try. I just like connecting with you guys. No, you succeed in being sexy all the time, Miss <laughs> Wilson. All the time. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here. They're going to put you. up a graphic so you can not awkwardly walk off the stage. Thank you, <laughs> okay, seriously. Am I out? You're I'm good. Yeah, absolutely. Those okay, are for thank you. you. I'm eating on the plate. <laughs>